Well, you guys, I'm back making another video. It's pretty boring. You can't go do nothing. So, uh, this is my 47 International. Got done a couple of years back, and uh, took me a long time to do it all by myself. It's a pretty bitching old truck. Not many people build an International nice. You see a lot of rat rods, but it takes a long time to build them nice. I chopped the top four inches. It's a pretty cool look to it. Made it a short box. Cut the chassis 13 and a half inches. Cut the bed, made it equal on each end of her. Sorry that damn light's pretty damn bright. Put the headlight Frenching kit on it. That was fun to do. Made the grill out of two grills. Had one smash in the top, one smash in the bottom. I cut them in half. Made one Primo one. Raining outside or I'd back it outside and get a better uh, view of it. Front windshield's eight inches. So it's pretty sweet to drive. Got a 10 bolt posi. Got it on leaf springs. Put my fuel cell on the bed of the truck. 15 gallon. Got a little back window. It's about it's about five inches tall. Made that box from a battery. Got the battery. Shut off switch so you can kill the power when you store it. Pretty slick. Made the tailgate. Made the bumper. 41 Chevy tail lights. French the bumper in for my license plate. All the fenders had big rips all the way up here. Repaired all them. Had bullet holes in the doors. Come back around this way. Pretty tight in my little garage. Got my 55 Chevy over there. Got to get this thing out though so I can start cutting and throwing sparks. Don't want to throw any sparks on the old International. Got tinted windows. Kept the original inside pretty close. Made my own gauge cluster. Got dolphin gauges, tilt wheel. Got the windshield wiper, Mr. Roaster wipers on it, we're killer. Got the swan neck, low car shifter in it. Still need to do a headliner. Got some seats out of a Saturn, they fit pretty nice, but <clears throat> need to have them recovered or put an old bench seat in here or something someday. It's got weather stripping, got brand new felt in the windows. Did all the metal work myself. So that old 55. This truck was worse. Redid the whole floorboard. You can see. It's kind of dark in here. I should open the other door. Put the Corvette master cylinder booster down on the floor. To the frame. It comes up through the floorboard. I'll drop column. Open up the hood. Fuel cell. Fuel cell looks pretty cool. Wish there was more room in here. Let's open up the hood. A 69 350 Chevy in it. It's supposed to be 300 horse. 
got the aluminum house radiator in it. The old Holly valve covers. Run two belts. My water pump, you ever on a hot highway and blow a belt off, you're going to fucking overheat. So, run that double pulley. At least you got one backup belt. Put Mustang 2 front end under it. Rack and pinion steering, tubular A arms, front disc brakes. You can see it's kind of dark in here. Redid the whole firewall for the Chevy motor to stick back in there. We did the whole floorboard of the truck. Still got the original frame. Box the frame all the way. It's got a 350 turbo automatic in it. One of the hardest part on this truck was doing the wiring. Hated everything. Hated that part of it. Pretty cool looking motor though. It's a good driver. Got 373 gears in it. It's like driving a go-kart. 55, 60 miles an hour. It's really rappy. Just punch the gas and just put you back in the seat. Gets a smile out of the wife every time. I don't know if she likes it or not. <clears throat> anyway, pretty cool truck. A lot of years in it. I don't know if I can see underneath of it or not. It's pretty clean though. Small, brand new. Just replaced the tail shaft seal on the tranny. It's dripping damn fluid everywhere. One of them Chinese seals. It's leaking my fluid all over, so I took that out, replaced that, and replaced the bushing on the tail shaft. So, hopefully, that stops the leak. Maybe later on in the day I'll jump the training fluid back in it and uh, fire it up maybe if it stops raining. Who knows. Alright, well, thanks a lot. Hope you like the old truck. Have a good day. Be safe.